So it's minus 25 Fahrenheit, something like that. Okay. I just grabbed some random saws. These are all runners. Some of these I've built. We're going to do the Great Canadian Sub-Zero saw start off. Will these saws start? Uh, I'm going to leave these things here for about an hour and uh, make sure they're good. Now, they've been in a cold shop and storage. So Now, I will preface this, friends. This is not scientific. Um, some of these saws haven't been run since summer, which means they're going to be a little lean. Whether they'll start or not is questionable. But you guys asked for it, a bunch of you. So I'm just going to, I'm going to do non-science science. Will these saws start in sub-zero weather? We got a MS200T, uh, S650 partner, P61 Pioneer, big boy saw. That one's probably going to be hard to pull over in this. And I'll, I'll show you guys all this stuff. Still 044, another high compression saw. Uh, 630 Super with a high compression ported 266 top end. Random junk parts saw that Buckin sent me. I think it's a 266. We got two auto tunes here. 576 XPG, 562 XP. Uh, Super Pro 70 McCullough, uh, Pro Mac 850. These are both ported by me. Those are both Buckin saws. I got to run this some more. Um, I'm waiting for the weather to chill out. Uh, you can't. You really can't cut in this kind of weather, friends. The bar oil does not flow. Uh, I've put diesel in it a few times. It, it kind of helps, but... Ported 120 Dolmar, Sax Dolmar 120 Super, 460 what still ported. 394 XP and 181 XP. Or SE, depending on what year it is. Okay, friends, I'm going to leave these out here and uh, just show you guys them again. And I will go back in the shop, warm my phone up, and then I'll come out and give these each a pull. I'm going to limit it to 10 pulls, I think, maximum on a saw. If it doesn't fire, I will move on to the next one. You guys are curious. Um, this is the kind of day I don't like high compression saws in this weather at all. They're a bear to start. Um, you generally, I hope I don't break the recoil on that one. Um, that's a particularly high compression saw so is the pioneer the 044 so we'll play it by ear my my first guess um and and we'll play it by ear i have a feeling the auto tunes will start the easiest followed by the 461 that's a good starting saw that one will start good that ported 266 630 if i can pull it over fast enough um, the 044 is really rich. I've been having a carb issue with that. Um, the 394 again is usually a good starter as long as I can pull it over, but we'll, we'll see friends. Um, these two Macs are probably on the lean side. It'll be questionable whether they start or not. Anyhow, friends, I'm going to go back in the shop and, uh, warm myself back up. I'll hit you guys up in a few minutes. And friends, just to show you how cold and humid it is. I've been out here for five or six minutes. Look at my beard. So, takes a while to clear up the smoke coming from the chimney in this weather too. It, it, uh, you got to get that flue pipe good and hot. It'll, it'll do that for a bit. That's good seasoned wood. But I just wanted to show you guys, okay? This is no joke. So, I don't know what's going to happen. I typically don't cut in this kind of weather. At the end of this, I'll give you some tips and tricks if you're cutting in cold weather for the first time, how to get your saw to start. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. Um, but some people might overlook it. I've been working outside my whole adult life, so I have to get generators and things like that started in this weather. So I'll show you guys some tips after. Okay, friends. Let's start with the good old 200T. Now I haven't run this in a while. Okay. Ready? Whoa. You see that, friends? Even a 200T is hard to pull over in this kind of weather. Is that 10 pulls, friends? Here, I'll give her a few more, just, just to be fair. <laughs> 
Nope, she won't go. Okay, now remember, if you use the 200T, this is in no way scientific. This is just the Tin Man horsing around in his yard. For you guys. Okay. I'm gonna try not to lose any of these nuts. Okay. Full choke, fast idle. Partner, P65. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, this recoil's acting up. Now, what does this mean, friends? Nothing. <laughs> no, that one's not gonna go. Okay. Mighty still, 044. I almost called it an XPG. It's not an XPG, it's a Arctic. Okay, full choke. This is a high compression saw, friends. This thing's probably gonna start, I hope. <laughs> oh for three friends okay p61 let's see if this thing has gas i don't even friends i can't even get the gas cap off okay we're gonna assume that this thing has gas in it oh okay Decomp. Now I remember this thing is really hard to pull over. Okay, friends. Ooh. Ooh. That one hurt. Nope. Now don't worry friends, I'm going to show you guys something, okay. And remember the air is so dense, okay, I'm going to try and not lose any of my bar nuts. Ported 266, high compression pop up, no decomp. Oh, oh, oh. Started. You guys think it'll restart? Now, friends, I want you to remember something. It is super cold out. All these saws are lean, and that's probably why they're not going to start. Ready? I'm going to pull, I'm going to choke this thing again. So that's one just happens to be one of my favorite ported saws doesn't mean doesn't mean it's any better than the rest of them okay 266 630 part saw that bucket sent me this is a great running saw ready Whew. i wonder if this saw is built it's got way too much compression We lost a nut. Hey, look at this thing, friends. Again, another reason why I love the 200 series. 
Now I'm going to take a break here and warm up the camera because it's going to die, I guarantee it. Okay, friends, so there's two. Let's try an altitude soft, one of them, before we take a break. 576 XPG 2012 model. Ready? ask why I like auto tunes right there I knew I knew that that's all would start okay so a little recap before we warm up no dice on that one 200t partner 044 I'm actually shocked that that didn't start that used to be my main winter wood cutting saw I think there's actually something wrong with the carburetor it, it, it's actually too rich I thought it would start but no dice on that that's because that's a hard saw to pull over that one and that one started too old part saws and this one started we're gonna go warm up and i will try and do the rest of these finishing with the 394 when my shoulder is at its worst because that's fun <laughs> 562 xp this is my favorite cold weather getting work done saw Thing I like about these auto tunes, just let them run on fast idle for a second, and what they usually do, they'll kind of lope and, and sputter. They're finding the right tune for the weather. So, okay, ready? I don't think I primed it enough or purged it with the purge bulb. I don't mind the purge bulb, it doesn't uh, offend me at all. Some people aren't into that. Okay. Not friends. Oops. She's a little cranky. I should have left her run. Okay. McCullough Super Pro 70. This is bucket saw. I'm getting ready to tear this thing back apart. I'm gonna give her full choke and see. Are you guys ready? This saw's got lots of compression now. Okay. Now, I don't know if this recoil is gonna be happy in this weather. If it's not, we'll move on. Try her this way. Notice these McCuller recoils do not like super cold weather. I don't know if you're, if you guys have the same experience as me, but okay, ready? I'm gonna try turning the choke off. It wants to go. Okay. Time for the 850. Snow in the pipe? Oh, well, that'll blow out, won't it? There we go. 
Look at the snow over there. Now these are warm weather saws being from Nanaimo. That one come from Texas, so. Nope, this recoil is probably not gonna cooperate. No, nope, I can't get enough pull out of this, friends. Nope. Okay. It is what it is. Okay, Sax Dolmar. Let's make sure you guys can still see me. You guys asked for this, and I thought, yeah, what the heck? This is fun. This is what I go through here. This Dolmar's going to cooperate. This is typically a good starting saw. It is ported. Okay. Ho, 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 ho. I got to pull her over a few times just to get the juices flowing. See, high compression in this weather, friends, is terrible. Nope. I don't want to break the recoil on that saw. Whew. Four sixty-one. I right, keep moving, you guys. It's kind of dark today. This is another high compression. Oh, it's funny. Uh, I was on Kenzie's live feed last night and guys were talking 461s. I don't know if it's just this one, friends, but this saw has a lot of compression and this is not a low exhaust roof saw. So, okay, ready? Well, we got fuel in here. running starting saws I've ever built or owned. Um, this is one of my favorite saws. <laughs> and she's angry. Four sixty one friends, no joke. You guys see that pull the recoil out of my hands? Okay. My friend, senior 394 XP. I love this saw. Okay. I've used this in cold weather and it started, whether it will today. Recoil is not impressed on this saw. See, the problem is with these big saws, friends, even with the decop in, they are so hard to pull over in this kind of weather that you, you don't often use them. At least I don't. I can't get them started. Now, I'm going to talk about all this after. One 
more time. Nope. Now, friends, this means nothing. In fact, we got one more saw and then let's talk about this. 181 that good old TK sent us. Okay. This is a stock saw, lots of compression. Notice, friends, I have a hard time starting the big saws. started I had the chain break on and it was like uh, not happy let's try this again put the choke bag on okay ready So what does this all mean? Here, so I don't know if I have a screwdriver on me. I do. Let's try something. Which saw didn't start? 200T, okay? My arms are about getting pulled out, friends. Okay. So you saw it won't start. Why? Generally because it's lean. Okay, I'm gonna take this, this is my low jet, okay? I'm gonna find the jet in here, and I'm gonna give it, here, I'm gonna pull this cover off, friends, okay? Where was the jet at? Three, seven, three quarters of a turn, okay? Half, one, I'm gonna make this thing pig rich to start it now. Well, often, that's all it takes, friends. You put this cover back in. Okay, these saws won't start because they are too lean. Why? Because the air is very dense. Uh, often, saws like this, if you have a saw that runs lean in summer, and you have some carburation issues, it will go really lean in winter. Now, the inverse of that, summertime comes, I'll grab a lot of these saws that I've run in winter, and they flood instantly, or when I get them running, they are just rich. Usually about a quarter turn back in is what the high and low jets need, because the air is so dense right now. Now, let's see if this thing will start, okay? with more low jet. It may not. This thing's gonna make a liar out of me, friends. Let's try the old 44. Okay, same thing. I'm gonna give this thing, let's see where the jet's at. Is that about a turn? I'm gonna give it an extra quarter turn. Okay, same thing. friends they're just too cold okay so I'm gonna grab the camera here okay friends so you're going cutting what do you do how do you get your saws to start I'm just gonna rest here here's what I do friends take the barn chain off your saw put you a couple of saws on a pan Tupperware lid put them on the passenger seat of your truck and blow the heat on them let them run with you 
or ride with you in the cab. That way when you get out there, once you get them running, generally they'll go for the rest of the day. The other thing you can do, friends, if you got a milk crate or something, we do this at work a lot, uh, put your saw in a milk crate and put it next to the exhaust and let the exhaust heat it up. That's how we charge batteries in winter. Uh, I'm running a, um, we run generators for power and when I'm charging cordless tools at work, I'll put the charger about a foot behind the exhaust pipe and that'll warm it up and let them charge. Again, non-science science, the partner, P61, that won't start because I can't pull it over fast enough. Uh, I reckon the 200T didn't start. Ported 630 Super started. That's one of my go-to saws. It has a lot of time on it. That saw that Buckin sent me, that mystery saw, I don't know what it is, started nice. That's a good running saw, and it just goes to show you. Look at this, friends. Look at this thing. Okay. It's a beater. Okay. Look at it. It's a great saw, though. I would take this cutting. Mismatch screws, fasteners. It's pieced together. It runs great. So, this goes to show you, you can find saws like this around. I know a lot of you guys say, I can't find any saws like that. You can, friends. They're out there. The more cutting you do and the more you get involved in your local chainsaw community, the more you'll find saws. Um, that's what happened to me anyways. I can only speak from my experience. I'm shocked that that thing didn't start. This thing needs a carburetor. I think I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and order a brand new carb. Uh, I've been having carb issues with this saw for a couple of years now. I don't, I don't run it anymore. Which is too bad. This, before I really went haywire with the saws, friends, you guys know what's going on. You get into sawing and next thing you know, you just got saws everywhere. This was my primary firewood cutting saw for quite a while. I did nothing but run this saw with a 24 inch bar on it and this thing's cut a lot of hardwood saw. And it's got heated handles, which I love. I know this, this is one of those saws you guys can see. There's the, the grip and wrap is heated. This is one of those saws that guys really want. And I understand this is one of the best saws still ever built. Both the auto tunes started. I really like the 576. Um, I, I'm looking for, not actively looking, but I'd like to find a heated wrap for this thing. Um, I would probably use this a lot in the winter just for that reason. Uh, I like a heated handle saw. 562 started. Uh, McCullough's would start. These McCullough recoils do not like winter time is what I'm experiencing with them. Um, all the ones I have in the shop and, you know, both these, uh, the, the recoils, they get a little sticky when it's cold out. Sax Dolmar didn't start. 394 did start. I'm actually shocked. Probably again, friends. I can't pull it over fast enough. That old girl there, just an amazing saw. It. <laughs> I don't even want to port that, friends. It runs so good. It's a stock 181SE, like an oldie but a goodie. And the easiest starting saw of all of these was my ported 461. And it's also one of the biggest saws in this challenge. So... That saw's what, friends? 77, 78 cc's? So that is one of the biggest saws out here today. One of the easiest starting saws I've ever built. I don't know if that's how all these run, but uh, this 461 has been just a gem. I bought it blown up and uh, didn't port the snot out of it. I did, I did, you know, my typical work saw go fast moves and... Uh, I'm sure there's more power in that saw, but it's got enough grunt. It pulls that 32, no problem. The great Canadian power saw start off, non-side sides. Just, you guys have been asking me to do this, so I thought I would do it, just having fun. Anyhow, I need to go in the house. It's cold. Thanks for watching, take her easy. Later guys.